Hello and welcome to the Red Bull Rampage. Shortly after free riding began in the backwoods of BC, they have held the rampage here in the bowels of the Utah desert. We are now here for the 13th edition. Brett Tiffy will take you through the course and the lines in this installment of Outside the Tape. We're at the start of the 2018 Red Bull Rampage up on top overlooking the whole valley. Everyone starts right down the uh, ramp right off the, uh, the front here and Aggie and Sorgi go that way. The majority of the riders are going this way and then splitting off into their perspective lines. And DJ, Brandt, Jordy and Brendog are heading that way. So once you come out of the start and you go one of three ways, this is the only pre-built uh, feature on the whole course and it's like an easy 15 down 15 out maybe you know probably 20 by 20 once you uh, stomp it unless you go off here where uh, T Mac and Vinny T are setting a little move set back but uh, once you land that then you're going off in different ridge lines and you know the world's your oyster so we just saw someone in white they're just teeing up a drop on the lower part of the course and overshot they appeared to look like from here and got bounced off their bike had a little tumble they're up on their feet and walking around brushing it off He's walking, picking up his bike, and uh, appears to be okay. Here's a very notable feature on Ben Dog's line, where halfway through his run, he rides up on this giant house-sized rock, turns to the left here, and this has a bike length before he airs off, like a 25, 30 footer, or maybe more, onto that sniper landing down there. All right, from the tip, it's about 25 to 35 feet to the other tip. Okay, that, so 25 feet minimum, oof. 30 feet to make it, and then probably like 35 really by the time you're like getting in the sweet spot. We've got Jordy and Brendog's line right behind here. Claude, what are they doing here, dude? Well, for starters, these guys both t picked a pretty gnarly way down the hill. And uh, on the right here, you can see Brendog's team, Team Brits, um, chipping away at that chute. And, and the one thing that's really tough about that line is the fact that he's dropping in and he's basically turning 90 degrees and then hitting a, uh, a drop at the bottom. Hey, Brendan, what's going on up there? Just, just hanging around, do you? Hanging out, eh? Yeah. Pretty hard work chiseling on the side of a mountain, though. It looks like a different sport. Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> What about Jordy here? He's got a big one lined up here. Yeah, Jordy's uh, coming in full steam ahead and uh, yeah, he's really chomping off a, a lot. And he's got, like as you can see right here, it, it's not completed yet. He's just got a, a good start on his landing, but he's gonna come off the top and he's gonna, once again, like the, the team Brits, he's gonna chisel out the top little section there, try to get down the hill as far as he can and then launch off and air. If, if he goes from the, the second ledge down, it looks like about a, you know, 28 to 32 foot air. A crazy aspect is how blind some of these airs are. You're coming into it and you can't see where you're going. Luckily you have your rocks here lined up and then all of a sudden you can see where you're going at the last minute and hopefully you have your direction just right and your speed just right. Okay, Reader's Line's coming over here, this cliff here, that's like 25, 30 down, you know, probably 10 out. And then controlling your speed and getting down to uh, Van Byers and Matt McDuff down there. There they are. Hey, boys! And then the, he's got another, you know, 25, 30 footer off that cliff right after them. So uh, right into the guts of it, right down the middle. So we're in the middle section here where a lot of rides are coming in an area close to the sandbox. And off the nose here, you're going to have Carson Storch and Andreo flying off that, as well as Remy Mattei, T Mac, Lyle, and Zinc. Uh, a bunch of them are going to go into that catch berm before they split off into their own lines again. Coming just this side of that catch berm off the nose will be Tommy G and Vinny T with some pretty wild exit moves getting out the bottom before uh, Vinny T goes onto this crazy lily pad. And then off the inside of the nose by the flag will be uh, Ethan Nell and Tom Van Steenbergen. So look at the size of this landing. Aggie's airing in, into it from behind you while uh, Ethan Nell, TVS and Adolf Silva are hipping into it from the side. And it's just a huge fat landing. What a huge fat landing down there, boys! Dude, that was cool. Aggie and Sorgi did a little train down there. First time guinea pigging this uh, one little hip jump, oh. whatever, and they just guinea pigged it together. So sick, dude. They're just like, we're in this together. We yeah. as well train it first hit. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. And they both did it butter smooth. Yeah, they nailed it. Those guys are pros. Brandon just nailed that, testing it for the first time. Aired on lightly, just uh, rode right across. Nice, nice distance, right into the angle he wanted. And uh, that was a tester and he nailed it. Perfectly smooth, boom, done. What's happening with this area off these bunch of cliffs here? Who's going off the one where Chris, the cameraman's standing? Gotchik is hitting this huge one, it's like 75 feet. Sorg is hitting 
This one next to you. Right here into that landing down there. Yeah. And we're standing on uh, Adolf Silva's. Uh, he's hitting the one next to next to us, and he's probably flipping it. And if he's doing well first round, he's probably doing double flip into it in second round. So it's amazing. That's a long ways, long ways down, a long ways down. <laughs> yeah. We're definitely gonna put a lip on after testing it, and um, then we'll see. Adolf, you rode the top part of your line so far. How was this? Uh, it was pretty, a little bit scary. Scarier than I thought, to be honest, but uh, it, everything rode good and uh, stoked on it, so. And you rode it right down to the big air? Yeah, to the biggest drop I got, I guess, so uh, yeah. Kind of just checking the speed for it, and and if the wind goes down, maybe maybe try it tonight, I don't know. Let's yeah, see. yeah, oh, the unknown. <laughs> First, I'm gonna check speed from here, and maybe if I hit it, I might go, just go all the way to the top and hit it doing everything. Oh boy. Tons of speed, eh? Adolf is looking to judge his speed just right off this monster jump. He's coming off that hip and coming down the hill and then having to hit a shark fin in a corner right before it. So he's got to judge how fast to rail the corner and then boost his jump. Claw was saying that he thought it might be going a bit too fast in the last in run and might just need to come in a little bit slower and then pop it more. It's nice to have some outside perspective of how fast you're going because people can have a good look and especially if those people know what they're doing. So it's just all um, the process of not making any mistakes and getting hurt. And like I say, just adding all the pieces together. So here's Sorgi just doing a little bit of the practice. Aggie just hit it, Simon just hit it. Riding in the steep pitch here, and like Aggie uh, helped him out with some instructions, he let go of his brakes right when he got to the flats there and rolled that last 15 feet with no brakes. All right, we're looking at a line here that Cam Zink and Kyle Strader are gonna do. You can see uh, actually Lyle's on top of it right now and some dirt in and people are on with ropes and it's so steep and it's got a little tranny built out and you got to carve a right hand turn out of it. Super steep, super ridiculous. More rampage wildness. So Adolf just hit this drop and went a little bit to the right and a little bit slower than the other guys and he cased it ever so slightly. Big drop. Any more of a case and, you know, might have been a little more dangerous, but suspension took it and he ruled right out. They're getting a feel for it and that's a nice air to, to break themselves in before they start hugging it from up higher and further back on these drops back there. So this has been outside the tape. The riders have got all their lines figured out almost all together and uh, they've ridden most of their features, almost everybody. So it's go time for tomorrow, the big show. I wish you could be here to feel the electricity, but you'll see all the images. Hope you enjoyed Outside the Tape and we will see you tomorrow for Finals Day.